Hello everybody, I'm Blazer back and welcome back to a Dream Markiplier, the bad end. Oh boy. Why did I find your iPad under the bookshelf, huh? What do you think you're playing at? What else are you hiding from me? She's hiding the fact that you're a little bitch. Oh wait, you already know that. Daddy, help! And why is that Markiplier guy the screensaver? What have I told you about this man? I told you that he was banned. I can't, can't breathe. You would never fucking listen! Jeez. I can't breathe! Stop bullshitting me! You're completely fine! Don't be such a drama queen! She literally can't breathe, you asshole! D please, help me! Why should I help you? Can't breathe! An ambulance! Can't breathe? I'll fucking show you you can't breathe! Clyde proceeded. To smother Astro with the pillow. See, this is why this bastard is my trigger. Just mention his name. He's gonna die. Mumble. <laughs> can you breathe now, Astrid? Can you? No, of course you can't breathe, you asshole! Finally, you're dead. I hope you rot in hell with your mother. You first, dickbag! I'm so sorry about your daughter, Miss Sorokane. She will be dearly missed. Thank you. She was doing so well, and her condition went downhill. At least she's with her mother now. Her condition went downhill? No, really. I just smothered her and just killed her. But it's no big deal. It's fine. No one's gonna believe that anyway. My condolences, Mr. O'Kane. She was so young, too. Fuck you, Mr. Clyde O'Kane. She was only 15. It's such a shame. She was such a wonderful girl. Thank you for coming. Wait, that was Clyde. Whoops. Give you a woman's voice. Eh, seems fine, because you're a little bitch. Those idiots so suspect the thing. They thought you died of your illness. Good thing I killed you. Another burden off my shoulders. Goodbye, Astrid. I hope you rot. You first. One more day, six bottles of booze. Another day without that hip, stupid girl telling me to go Alcoholics Anonymous. Well, good. I hope you get po alcohol poisoning and die. Clyde O'Kane. <laughs> Who said that? Fucking Darkplayer. Who are you? Wait, wait. I don't remember that face. You're that Markiplier douchebag, aren't you? We may be the same person. But no, I'm not that blathering idiot. I'm Darkplier, his darker version. I heard that you despise Markiplier, correct? Yeah, I can't stand. He made my daughter happy, and trust me, he, she never deserved any happiness. Dark doesn't give a shit about that. I see where you're coming from, Fred. Perhaps I can get help you get rid of Markiplier? Get rid of him? If you get what I mean. Ah, I see. It's an excellent idea. So you're willing to let me help? Yes, of course. But there's one condition. Yes, anything. The plan shall be executed here in your manor. Yes, of course. But there's one problem. And that is... My dastardly daughter's ghost still roams here. Oh, that's no problem for me. I can conceal her in some items. It'll be very easy for me. I've been observing her for s through some of Markiplier's videos. And she has some Markiplier merchandise. I can split her spirit into the uh, into six parts and conceal her in those. How's that? A truly excellent idea. In that case, then, you'll have yourself a deal. Trust me, friend, I shall not let you down. Oh, I'm sure you won't. We're not so different, you and I. Oh, not at all. The plan shall be executed tonight. I know Markiplier will be traveling home at that time. He'll be passing your manor. Come now. We have no time to lose. Yes, let's get this plan underway. You're a monster. Not only did you kill your own daughter and lie to me about being dead, but you killed one of my fans! How could you kill an innocent girl for being happy? I told you, she didn't deserve happiness. Everyone deserves to be happy. No one deserves to be treated the way you treated your daughter. No one. So I suggest you give me that merchandise right now. So I can let her go. Oh, Markiplier, I'm afraid that I won't let that happen. And why not, you self-righteous dickbag? Ho! Oh. <laughs> Sassy Mark. 
D dark? D d dark? No. No, no dark! Oh shit. You didn't save me, Mark! You didn't save me! Yeah, if I can find you going down the blatantly obvious, I'd let her down. I can't believe I let Finn down. This is all my fault. You're right, it is. If I could get away from this barrier, I would kill you myself! But I'm already dead. I would reincarnate you and kill you over and over and over again. I hate you. I fucking hate you. I hope you rot in the deepest pits of hell. Shut up. No, I will not shut up, Darkplier. I am not listening to you. Good for you, Mark. Shut up right now, you worthless pathetic excuse for a man. Uh, he's pathetic excuse for a man. Uh, he didn't kill someone's kid. So, uh, shut the F up. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Kill me just like you killed her? Uh, Mark, I think you- Yes. M mark Yes, I am. Goodbye, Mark Flyer. Wait, no, please! You got the bad end. Yes, pl- Yes, player, I know. So what would you like to do? Well, it's like, I already know the good end, so, like, it'd be pointless to record that part, so I should just go to the party room? Alright, little party animal, you. Let's party! Okay, at least now it's the upbeat music. Woo! This is the developer room. I think I was already here. Uh... Actually, hold on. No. No, no, no. Hi there, Mark. Hey, buddy. What's your name? My name is Matt, and I'm an assistant developer at the Internet Game Studio. My big sister is actually the head developer. She's a huge fan of you. Wait, you're a developer? How old are you? I'm 11 years old! Whoa, you must be seriously good to be a developer at your age. Nice job, bud. Thank you! This must be... Uh, hey, if you don't mind me asking, who exactly are you? Oh my god, internet! Is everything alright? <coughs> You're Markiplier and you spoke to me! Yeah, I sure did. Oh, sorry, I never got your name. Oh, sorry, I must seem like a huge freak. I'm Internaut, the head developer and founder of the Internaut Game Studio, and we made this game just for you! Internaut, huh? Kind of an odd name. I know, it's my nickname. In the studio, we just call each other by our nicknames. We've actually been working on this game since February. Wow, thank you so much to you and your team. Well, we thought since you gave us so much, it would only be fair to give you something in return. And can I just say that? I'm a huge fan, I love you so much, I have a pebble off your face and two t-shirts, I know it sounds creepy, but oh my god, I freaking love you, you're an inspiration, and my senpai and senpai has noticed me. Whew! <sighs> Sorry, I had to get that out of my system. Well, I bet you think I'm creepy now. Ah. Okay, glad to see you're a fan. Anyway, thank you for making this game for me. You know, I think it, to be fair or not, I would probably act the same way, so... <laughs> well, I'd be probably super nervous about it, though. There's no problem. I hope you liked it. See you later. Then, uh, okay. Hi there, are you one of the developers? Oh, yes I am. I'm L. I'm an assistant developer in, at the Internet Game Studio. I helped out with this, out with this game role. Well. Cool. Thanks for making the game. I enjoyed it. Thanks. I'm sure Internet appreciates it. After all, she did lead the development of this game. Be sure to say hi to her. Will do. It was nice talking to you. But wait, can I just say one thing? Sure. Fan is real. Okay then, see ya. She's talking about like like a Dan and Phil, like I think. Yeah, Dan and Phil and their ship, like Dan and Phil. That Dan and Phil is is like a ship. Uh oh yeah. Okay. Actually, there's the credits just just left to do. Probably bad to do it with the bad end, but uh. Whatever. Okay, but I'll see you there. See ya!